Hello, welcome to Eurodrama. I'm Hannes. I'm Oleg. And today we're gonna review the second day of rehearsal. So we're gonna give our top nine of today, actually. In the second half, there is like, it's like death. Yeah. It's like Bob after Bob after Bob, and it's yeah. been like super difficult for us to make a ranking because some of our top entries. Mm -hmm. Have dropped a bit, maybe, and others have surprised us. Yeah, and also a lot of favorites here as well. Yeah, so, and the semi-final, it's so it's tough. Is, it's gonna be dead. Yeah. So yeah, some favorites will have to be sacrificed, unfortunately. All right. So the ninth place and the last place for us from the second half is Norway. And yeah, not surprising at all. It's exactly the same as the national final. We really didn't like the song. Mm -hmm. I, we, well, at least me, I think that it's a bit bland. They got rid of two of the angels, right? But they had to. Yeah. And yeah, I don't know. I just don't connect with the song. Yeah. I don't know. I, don't know. I, have, I have the same problem. And yeah, a lot of people do connect with this song, but I feel like it's more because of his backstory. But I think the casual viewer will not really know the backstory of of him basically and also like for me it's a bit too over the top this whole that's what i mean yeah, yeah i think it's too much for 2021 that we yeah. are looking for like more polished you no know, performances like still like explosive but more polished i see it's very like outdated yeah i have to agree mm. okay so then we're going to our eighth place of today and i really hate to say this but because i really love this song but mm. unfortunately the eighth place goes to Romania. Yeah, yeah, I have to say, like, probably this was a bit too challenging for her. Like, she had to do and the choreography and sing well. Um, so yeah, her vocals were not really on point. So I they were feel, very shaky. Yeah, very very shaky. So I feel like yeah, it was a bit too challenging for her. Maybe mm. with an easier staging, she could have done yeah. better because we know she's a good singer actually. Yeah, I, I thought she was an excellent singer after uh, listening to her in the Eurovision party in Madrid, in Spain, yeah. the online party. And yeah, yeah, I have to agree with you. It's like, I don't really get why they tried to like perform this song like that. They didn't need, they tried like to replicate the official video, yeah, it's all good, yeah, right? Yeah. But with live music and that's very complicated. And the proof is, I don't know if she will sing better or not, because that's just a rehearsal. Mm -hmm. We just listen to like yeah. 10, 20 seconds. But yeah, it was disappointing. I, I'm like scared at this point that she may not qualify after that. Yeah, me too. And I really hope that the outfit that we saw today will not be yeah, the final outfit. That won't be that. there. That won't well, be I, there. I read that, well, maybe that I read yeah. it wrong, that it's her final outfit, but yeah. I, hope, I hope that's wrong. So please, someone in the comments, let us know if that's right or not. Yeah. All right, the seventh place for us is Israel. I mean, we like the revamp. We both thought that the revamp like make made the song like better somehow. But still, I don't know. In the middle of all these up tempo songs, I just feel personally, and well, on YouTube because mm -hmm. we didn't put her very high, that it will get lost somehow. No, in this strong mm, semi final, I cannot put her higher even though her vocals were pretty good and the performance seems like like prepared no like they did job they have a, like a job behind that mm -hmm. but mm. yeah i feel like yeah there's so many female up tempo bops like some will get lost and i fear unfortunately will be israel as well let's see yeah and also like we have to yeah we listened first to the first version and then we listened to the revamp and yeah of course we had like an opinion because we we knew the first version and the and then the um the revamp but the casual you uh, listener they they won't know they won't they know, know so, that there was a previous and I song i feel like exactly. this like just the song is not good enough let's see mm -hmm. All right, that were uh, yeah, you so go. It's my, play, it's yeah. my turn. So the sixth place actually goes to Ukraine, and I have to say, like, yeah, I probably I speak for the both of us. We are not really the biggest fan of this song, but yeah, we have to agree actually that um, yeah, what they brought on the stage was pretty entertaining. I'm still a bit, yeah, I'm still not convinced because it might look a bit too weird for the casual viewer, but. Yeah, I think it, it will stand out though. It's something completely different from all of the other songs. It has this folk element, so I think probably Eastern European countries will respond to this. 
Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah. think that will appeal the jury's vote, even though they they demonstrated that the, they had like the station was pretty mm -hmm. decent, no? If you compare it to the other songs. And yeah, I think that may appeal to the voting for sure, but I'm not a fan of the song. You're not a fan of the mm -hmm. song. But the, the fact that I put it higher than others is that because it made a difference somehow, no? It, it stood out in a way that she may qualify because of that. Let's see what it happens. That's a song yeah. that you will never know what's gonna go happen, no? Yeah, because exactly. It, many people love it, many people hate it, but all these people who love the song will vote for the song. Mm -hmm. That's a thing, that's a yeah. point. It's exactly like, somehow I have a feeling it could do a Telemovage, but yeah, so we'll have to see. It's hard to predict this. The fifth place for us is Azerbaijan. Yeah, mm, I think it's pretty high. We put it pretty high, actually. Number five out of nine, not yeah. bad. In the middle. I wasn't expecting something like amazing, but still... I felt like too dark, no? That the staging was yes, too dark. Yes, I agree. Too dark. And the vocals weren't so, so good. I didn't expect like amazing vocals from mm -hmm. her either. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think... I'm not sure about this entry anymore. I yeah, I, I kind of have the same feeling as Israel. It might be one of the female up-tempo songs that might get lost this year. And mm -hmm. I also feel like she doesn't really... She's not the person with the biggest charisma, I have no. to say. And also the outfits... Not really entirely sure, but I think she deserves like the fifth place in this ranking because yeah. the song deserves it. All right, so then the fourth place is actually Malta. Um, yeah, like probably more people were expecting more from Malta, I guess, um, just because they're the betting odds favorite at the moment. Yeah. Um, and I was not completely convinced by the staging, um, just because like. For me, it was happened. too much yeah. thing for me, like, I'm um, talking yeah. about the colors. Yeah, I will get rid of these outfits. Yeah, exactly. Also, like, yeah, I wasn't really the biggest fan of what she was wearing, but her vocals, yeah. yeah, yeah. We knew that, that she's an, an amazing singer, so... I was she just, won the yeah. Junior Eurovision. Mm -hmm. For a reason. Yeah, yeah, for a reason, and it, the reason is that she's a great singer, we all know that, and she will pull it live perfectly. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, when you have a winning material, like Malta or at least a big favorite to win, you need to do something great. Yeah. And that didn't look that great. I think many people will be disappointed by, by this performance because, yeah, nothing really happened, no? It was, yeah. wasn't the best of yeah, the exactly. night. Like such, such, Sasha, Jean-Baptiste kind of let me down a bit mm. here. All right, so the third place is going to be Belgium. Mm. Hannes country. Yes. We are not biased. We both agree mm -hmm. that we really need these kind of songs to be in the final place. Mm -hmm. Because this year, unfortunately, or fortunately, I don't know, <laughs> but the thing is that many countries are sending like up tempo songs because of the situation, no? Mm -hmm. Probably. And Belgium is a difference. We need we need Hoover Phonic in the final. I mean they are an experienced band. Yeah. And they Geike? Geike or Heike? Geike. You see her on stage and she looks like a professional singer. Yeah. She's yeah. a great singer as well. The staging looks, I don't know, you know the group, the band better, yeah. better than me. Well, so. for, from Hoover Phonic, we couldn't expect it, that they would have like fire on stage or some gimmick. They, it, they're just not that kind of band. So I think they will more play with the lighting and stuff like that. But we didn't really see the camera angles. But yeah, I think yeah, they just go more for like the classy, the classy vibe. And I think People say like, ah, oh, this probably won't do well in a televote, but they're, first of all, they're a well-known band. And I think more yeah, older people also will yeah, maybe connect we'll more be to surprised. this. Yeah, so yeah. I think they could be top 10 in the televoting as well, actually. And, and another thing, I don't know why, but you listen to the songs and you know it's Belgium somehow, mm -hmm. because it's what you, your yeah. country has been sending, and they, they stick to this style, not mm -hmm. to this dark style. and. Yeah, I liked it. I liked it and I really hope that this goes to the final because otherwise it's going to be boring, you know, yeah. all these up-tempo songs. I don't think all these up-tempo songs can go through, mm -hmm. so probably Belgium will have their spot in the final. Well, let's hope so. I'm really crossing my fingers for my country. All right, so the second place, and yeah, we agreed on this as well, goes to Croatia. And for me, this is one of the female up-tempo songs that is doing everything right, actually. Um, like, they really 
upped their game from the she, national she final. She worked really hard on that. Yeah, and you can tell she like said that. it looked really, really professional. Um, actually, it was the kind of staging that I was hoping that Croatia would bring, and I think it elevates the song. She's so energetic, so youthful, and I think that will attract voters. So I, think I, I, she will I, like, I like the you know I put her in my top ten in my overall top ten. I like the performance in the final, but this is how you rehearse, how you prepare for a performance in Eurovision, no? I mean, just 20 seconds, you could tell that everything is thought, mm -hmm. and her vocals were very good as well, and yeah, I'm very happy because this was a doubt, and at least for me, this is a sure qualifier right now. Yeah, like, if you compare to the other female up-tempo songs, like, she she is ranks higher than Israel and Azerbaijan, so mm -hmm. I think she has good chances to qualify. All right, and now we're First place, of mm -hmm. course, is Cyprus, and yeah, no much more to add. We love the song in the beginning, mm -hmm. and they put it on stage perfectly with this mirror in the top. Yes. The dancers, I, I love the, the red on them. Yeah, no, the costumes, it looks like super it looks sexy. So good, yeah. And then she's like explosion. She's beautiful. She she reminds me of like Jennifer Lopez a bit, no? With this. Yeah, I know costume. you say that. Yeah. And yeah. also, what I loved was. That, that's a detail, but the makeup, her face looked kind of red like a devil, yeah, but it was yeah. very subtle, so that was very well done as well. And I think that they will play with this uh, reflection yeah. in the mirror, they will play a lot with that. And I saw a picture of her doing like some gimmicks, like, I, I don't know if you've that. seen that. No, no. <laughs> and there was like a, how you call it, like this meme, yeah. no? that it said like, um, uh, style 9 out of 10, <laughs> like they were, she was doing gymnastics okay. actually. <laughs> So we'll see a performance there, we'll see a very good performance and yeah, this is a sure qualifier. Yeah, after this performance that we've seen and we've only saw like, what, 15-20 seconds, uh, we can tell like, it's a, a sure qualifier. Alright, so this is our personal taste, this is not our prediction. Before the big semi-finals, we'll do our prediction. Yeah. We really loved the second half, I think yeah, the semi-final is going to be very competitive. Yeah, exactly. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And also, if you like our content, subscribe to our channel and to our Instagram account. We'll leave uh, the username below. And see you next time in Eurodrama! Eurodrama!